hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up if you are getting here with goody i'm doing a story time about this unprofessional ass experience being at a nail salon for the first time it was so fucking ghetto and trashy but yeah um also i have finally went outside you guys i have went to the store earlier and um yeah it was all right would i do it again um i don't know but <laughs> yeah i just want to update y'all and let y'all know like i have finally had the courage to step a foot outside and walk a few blocks to the store and anyways i just wanted to let y'all know but now we're gonna get to this story time. okay so this was back in 2020 when i was still pregnant with my son mother day was coming up and i was like i want to get my nails done or something like well, no, I wanted to get my toes done because I do my own nails. I always been self-taught, like I always get my own hair, my own nails, um, know how to cook. Uh, I did my own braids. Y'all know I, if you've been here for a while, like, you know, I do my own hair and stuff. So very self-taught, but I wanted my toes done and get prettied up, which I did get prettied up and, you know. So yeah, I wanted my toes done and I seen that it was a nail salon by my house not too far from my house so i had made an appointment and um on the website i did have to pay in advance so that way when i get there that i don't have to pay or nothing it was like basically already paid for um, when i booked my appointment or whatever so for the nails it was like 20 25 dollars which was cool i had scheduled appointment i think it was like 10 in the morning because i just wanted to get out of the way and um I thought I was going to be walking there, but my sister, she ended up taking me, and yeah, so, um, I ended up doing it in the morning because, like, try to avoid people, you know, me being antisocial, and yeah, so I wanted to do it in the morning, and get out the way, and then go right back home. Communication-wise, it was good. The lady, she kept talking to me and stuff, and letting me know, or giving me updates on my appointment, so, um, I'm going to name her unprofessional because that's exactly what it gave unprofessional as fuck so um yeah unprofessional she was updating me about my appointment and sending me emails and stuff so i'm like okay cool communication was good but the rest it didn't get what it's supposed to get yeah on the day of my appointment like i said it was a few days before mother's day and she had hit me up and she's all like she said something about my um appointment the time that i had picked or whatever and she's like can't even schedule so i have picked 12 o'clock i don't know if she gave me like certain times to come in i think she did but i just picked 12 o'clock so i'm like okay i'll, I'll come in at 12 she's like okay so um yeah eventually 12 o'clock came and when i get there it's already like red flags and stuff because i went there and i couldn't get in the door I could have gotten the door, and I that that kind of like threw me off. So I'm like, why is the door like locked? Like you supposed to run a business, and why is your door locked? So um, in the big window or whatever, I see somebody coming to the door, and a guy had opened the door for me. He was like built like my baby. He like I go lie, he kind of looked like my baby daddy. Like he kind of had similarities. He was like he he was like. Of course, like probably the same weight as him, had long hair as him, had tattoos and stuff. So yeah, um, he unlocked the door for me and let me in. Mind you, when I walked in, it was given dark. It was given like we do rituals in this bitch. Like it was so, it was like dark and there there was like some lights, but it wasn't bright. Like when you walk into like a regular schmegular regular nail salon, like. You know, we walk in bright lights, pretty colors everywhere, but it didn't gave that. So, um, yeah, I walked in. There's a lady sitting um, by the window and a little kid with her. And then the door, the, I mean, the guy that answered the door for me, he was there with his daughter. And then I guess the owner of the shop, I'm professional, she uh, was in the back doing somebody's lashes. So, mind you, this lady, she already had me reschedule my appointment, and then I come in two hours later for my appointment, and she working on somebody else. And guess how long I was waiting? 
I'm, I'm not even joking. I probably waited for like 30 to 40 minutes. Like, <laughs> that's how long she took. I kid you not. Like, my sister, she's waiting in the car the whole time on my knees. And I was just giving her updates. I was just like, these people take it so fucking long. Like, I'm finna end up walking out some of her because I'm very impatient. Like, don't have me waiting. That's how you in grocery stores. Like, I'm a person that's, I'm, I'm very impatient. I get it from my dad. I just hate waiting. And I just be wanting to go in somewhere and get right back out. Like, that's how I am. I just hate waiting on people. So, yeah. Unprofessional. She in the back. She doing some ladies' lashes for like 30 to 40 minutes. So, I didn't even, like, the time I came in, I still wasn't getting service or nothing. I'm just sitting there waiting on my phone. So, I'm up in there. There's, I guess she's the only one that's, like, working out like up in the shop because literally I walked in is like not really much lights and not bright it doesn't give like oh this is my business this is you know like there was no other people um at the chairs doing other people nails like literally nothing was touched she's the only one that's working on people the whole time so it was just weird as fuck I thought I was gonna walk into a nail salon and see that like there was people at chairs and doing people feed, doing people nails, but no, it definitely was not that, and it was weird as fuck, like, looking back at it, like, the fact that I have to be let into the salon and unlock the door to leave out when I was done with my appointment, it just gave, like, I could have been, uh, fucking trafficked or something like that, because literally, like, nobody was able to get up in there unless you had an appointment, and the door was locked like finally she's done with the other person in the back and she walks up to me and she hands me like I think like two or three bolts of nail colors to pick out she didn't say hi I'm such and such this is my place of business thank you for choosing this location I'm happy to serve you nothing this lady literally walked up to me handed me the color palettes to choose from and then walked away and it was like how, how you run a business and you can't even like and this is my first time coming here at that like I'm not like one of those people that just come continuously like what kind of uh, anyway yeah I already knew what color I was picking out I wanted white simple as that I wanted white and um she was still like kind of taking long in the back like it was still weird like she like I'm still picking like I already basically already knew what color I wanted but she was still in the back doing something it was just like lady are you gonna do my feet or not so eventually um she's still talking to the ladies the one that got her lash extensions done She's talking to a professional and I guess her friend or somebody with her with the kids, uh, they was talking to her too. After I pick out my color, she turns on the thing, you know, where you put your feet in, the little bucket thing or whatever. She runs the water, still waiting on her. I guess she's getting the supplies and stuff ready. And eventually the other people, they leave. I think they already leave out the shop or whatever. I don't, I don't really know. Fuck them. But... <laughs> So yeah, eventually I sit down, told her I wanted white. Um, yeah, the nail polish was given like family dollar nail polish and I know that because I use that on my own nails. So I already So I put my feet in and I don't because this is my first experience, I don't know how everything is gonna be. So I don't know, it seemed like looking back at it because I watch a lot of people vlogs and stuff and I'm, I'm just always, I always like to watch people vlogs when they get they self done up and all that. So everybody else's experience look good. The soap looks soap, I mean the water looks soapy and mine was giving like, <laughs> mine was just giving boule like, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, it was just giving boule and it, it just, because I never got my toes done or nothing or step a foot in a nail shop. So I didn't know how the experience was going to be. But looking back at it, like it definitely gave boule. And um, I'm glad nothing happened to my feet. Because if something happened to my toes from putting my feet up in that fucking water. Like 
that lady would have had to run me my coins. I would have been out this motherfucking city. So I put my feet in and she's like kind of massaging my feet, but it's not really giving like, oh, I'm gonna scrub your feet. It was just giving like, you know, I'm gonna do a little wash and wash. <laughs> It was giving like, let me, let me somewhat clean your feet and, um, whatever. So yeah, she didn't massage me that good. She didn't massage my legs that good. She didn't massage my feet that good. Didn't really scrub the way I thought she was going to scrub like other people. And then the, plus like the supply she brought out, it was definitely giving Dollar Tree. <laughs> It was definitely giving Dollar Tree. It was like, it just, you know that one tool for your feet that looked like a cheese grater? I thought she'd go pull out that and then some other stuff, but you know, it definitely, and then she had used like a boy uh, pumice stone that I, I probably know for a fact that she came from Family Dollar or Dollar Tree. But um, yeah, the reason why I know that is because I'm cheap as fuck and like if I was to go out and buy foot care products, I'll probably use that too, so. Yeah, eventually she starts paying my toes and stuff like that. I'm just chilling on my phone and still giving my sister updates now that I'm like in service finally and shit. And I don't know if she used a UV light on me. I really don't remember. I think she did, but at the same time, like, I'm really not sure because it was already, like, the experience was already ghetto, so I, I just, eventually she gets done doing my toes, I said thank you and stuff, and that was it, I left up out of there, mind you, when I, um, when I was finna go to the door, I had to unlock it just to leave out, that's what I'm saying, like, that shit could have been some sex trafficking shit because, I literally had to be let in and then I had to lock myself out the damn salon or where. So definitely it was weird. I'm telling my sister the full details. She know I was waiting a long ass time before um getting service or whatever and that's why I told her like I'm finna end up getting ready to leave out this motherfucker because like she's still working on somebody lashes and it shouldn't take it long. After that I left a long review, which y'all will see. Basically, just saying my experience, it it wasn't the best, and I mm, that was my first time ever stepping a foot in a nail salon, and that would be my last. That's why I'm so self-taught, independent. Like I do my own shit because I don't have time to be showing up, getting my nails done every two weeks, and have to deal with these unprofessional ass people and giving them my coins and not giving the service that I want or need it. So, I don't know how other people do it, but me personally, like, if I know I can do the shit myself, I'm going to do it by myself. I, I'm not going to give these people my money knowing that they're not doing a good job. And, like, no, that shit, that shit ain't worth it. Like, if you, if you have time on your hands, you can definitely do that. Like, yes, it's time consuming, but it's better than showing up somewhere and then you leave out and be like, yeah, they didn't do it the way I wanted them to do it. Um, they didn't find my nails the way I wanted them to, or the color is a little off, like anything. So that's why I'm glad I'm just self-taught and just do my own shit, do my own toes, do my own nails, do my own hair. I don't have time. No. Yeah, I left a long review. And just uh, before I record, I went back onto the site or whatever, and I seen the reviews. And from what I noticed, like, Everybody was leaving reviews, but I seen that other people were liking theirs and it basically just showed like how much they like their nails and it was definitely like it didn't look it didn't look professional at all, which was weird. I noticed that the reviews people leave it, it was like basically the same race as unprofessional. And um that's how I knew like maybe she just only does a good job or is totally do a good job because from the nails I've seen that other people's leaving like it didn't look that good. But yeah, they leaving good reviews or whatever and it was like it kind of rubbed me the wrong way because like maybe she do they nails good and give them a good service but people like me that's black and other black people that come there or, or whoever it seemed like she don't do a good job because I seen the reviews and there's people that say the same thing like the experience there is horrible like 
we walk it, it doesn't give off salon vibes, it just give off like, I do this shit in my house type thing. You know, unlicensed people that do somebody hair up in the um, house, like that's the vibe that it gave off. So, it, it was just ghetto as fuck, it was trashy, like, no. That was my first and last time going there, and I'm not going to any other fucking shop. I don't care if if I know I can do the shit on my own. I'm definitely gonna do it. So, yeah, the other females they was leaving good reviews. The same people that was the same race as her, they leaving good reviews. But other people like me or you you know what I'm talking about. Like they was saying like no, the experience wasn't good. Didn't do a good job. Didn't seem like she licensed or nothing like that. So, that, that just lets you know, like, people be money hungry, and people will really take your money, you know, because that's what they do, and then not give you a good service. So, people be thinking, like, race don't play a huge factor, it definitely does, which is, like, basically everywhere. Um, restaurants, nail salons, like, whatever, getting your hair done. Race definitely plays a huge role in a lot of shit, and I've been seeing a lot of racism going on and all types of stuff, and it just, no, these people really be money hungry, take your money and give you a fucked up service, and then turn around and support their own, and put, um, I mean, do a good job on their shit, and that, like, that shit ain't cool, like, so yeah, nobody likes my review or whatever, and I did put a lengthy review, but it's cool, like, it just... You know, she probably seen it and like, bitch. But <laughs> it is what it is. She need to do a better job. She need to, because I don't, I don't know, like the whole, the atmosphere, she, her being unprofessional and, and that's the thing too. Also, these new stylists, they do not be professional at all. They will tell you to come in with your hair already blow dried uh braid it up before they put a wig on you like all types of stuff they be want to deposit like i basically had to pay um for my nails before i even stepped a foot in the um fucking salon and she literally had me waiting like 30 to 40 minutes so that just lets you know like these new people and these new generation of um fucking so-called stylists and all that be unprofessional as fuck and yeah, if you ever go through a um, similar experience like me, like, just get the fuck up and leave. Like, they could have the little funky $25 or whatever for a deposit or whatever and just go find better because these people just be money hungry. They will literally take your money and fuck up whatever you want done and then won't even give you a refund or nothing. If anything, they, they probably just go give you, like, fucking um, credit or something. But, yeah, um, that was my experience. For the first time in a nail salon. Thank you guys for watching. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up. And I will be back with another video soon.